Okay, in this video I'm going to continue on with exercise 3A of the book Fundamental Applied Mathematics. We're on page number 74, and the question is 25. It reads, jet fighter is flying horizontally at constant height of 210 meters, with a constant speed of 140 meters per second. As it passes over a gun, a gunner fires a bullet with speed 70 out 5 meters at an angle tan inverse half to the horizontal. And the next sentence says that they will, will hit each other and has to find the time at which they hit each other. Or is it the time or speed? Let me have a look. We're asked to find the... Hmm. When? Yeah, so time. So the first thing to do is sketch what's going on. So we draw a velocity time diagram as normal. So V and T. And we have a ceiling up here. And the ceiling is at 210 meters where the jet fighter is. And we're firing a projectile like this up to it at an angle alpha and we know that the inverse tan of alpha is a half therefore it's 1 and 2 and therefore the uh, it will say sine is equal to 1 over root 5 and cosine is equal to 2 over root 5 okay so the next thing we need to do of course is to get what the velocity is so that this is our velocity vector here then this these are our resultant vectors here and here. I'm just going to rub out the stuff that we don't need anymore. There are velocity vectors. So this is V sine alpha, V cosine alpha. We're given that the initial velocity is 75 root 5. Okay, and we know what sine and cos are. So this is going to be 75 root 5 times 2 over root 5. It goes 140 i hat. And similarly, this is 75 root 5 times 1 over root 5 is equal to 75 j hat. Alright, so we know that v is equal to 140 i hat plus 75 j hat, like so. So that's grand, I don't think we really need a sketch anymore. What I'm going to do is go straight into my uvast, so we have x and y. Like that. So what do we know? We know this was 140. T is the same. The acceleration here is g. This is 0. We know this was 70. We know that the height of the above the ground when they hit will be 100 or 210 meters. Like that. And its speed will be 140, which I'll speak about in a moment. All right. So. Uh, what can we do here? V is equal to u plus a t, so this is 140, and this is 140 t. This is 70 uh, ut, which is v is equal to u, sorry, plus a t, and this is equal to ut, which is 70 t plus a half g t squared, like that. Okay, so the next thing to do is to find out we need to get, uh, we need to get heights and times. So you know the distance above the x-axis s sub y will be equal to 210 meters and we have an expression here which says 70 t minus a half or plus a half g t squared is equal to 210. So that will give us the time at which the particle has reached 210 or the bullet will say has reached 210 meters. So let's do this. So we'll bring that over here. We're going to get 210 70 t minus 4.9 t squared. I'm just going to write t to the 0 here and t to the 1. And we notice again that this is a quadratic. Because it's polynomial, which is, means it's powers of degree 2. Therefore, it's called a quadratic. And we can solve that using the formula minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a, where minus or plus 4.9 is a minus 70 is b and plus 210 is c. So it's minus times minus 70 which is plus 70 plus or minus the square root of something over 4.9 multiplied by 2 which is equal to 9.8. So as normal I'm going to just plug the square root straight into my calculator. So it's minus 70 to be squared excuse me, b squared minus 4 times 4.9 times 210 
That's oh, that's a negative number. I've done something wrong there. B squared minus four. We'll do that again now. So it's seventy squared minus four times four point nine times two ten, which is seven hundred eighty four. Square root that, and we get twenty eight. Which of course is going to give us two positive numbers here, and that means both of these times will actually be would be uh, physically acceptable. So seventy plus twenty eight divided by 9.8 gives 10 seconds and 70 minus 28 divided by 9.8 gives 4.2 seconds. Now are those correct? Um, 10 and 30 over 7, what's that now? 4.2. So both of those are correct, like that. So the bullet first strikes the plane at 30 over 7 which is 4.2 seconds here like that alright so that was pretty straightforward thanks for watching pass it on to your friends and please subscribe to my channel